Check out that uh, giant calendar over there. This city was home to the Teotihuacan people, which archaeologists really don't know a lot about. No one really knows where they went and how they were destroyed. They left this place totally abandoned. But they did leave us their city. And if you poke around the city and look at the configuration of this huge, goes for 20 kilometers city, you start to see that they really prioritized keeping track of time throughout the year. And the technology they used to do that was their huge pyramids that they constructed. And the sun, the stars, the mountains, their entire city was built in order to track the movement of the celestial bodies. Para poder construir esta ciudad, ellos tomaron como puntos de referencia no el norte, sino principalmente el oriente. El este, las puestas de sol, que es lo más importante para ellos. The civilization was able to track time by keeping track of whenever the sun would rise at the peak of one of these mountains. They aligned it so that the sun and the mountains would be a perfectly aligned clock for them to see what time of year it was. So today, people come here to this ruin to celebrate the spring equinox, which is an important time for planting seeds and preparing for the fertility of the land. We don't know how important the spring equinox was for this ancient civilization, but they did leave a few clues that suggest that it could have actually been a really important day. Y hace una alineación perfecta del sol con la pirámide del sol. O sea, las dos están alineadas perfectamente y la pirámide del sol no tiene sombra en ningún costado. Toda está iluminada. Tracking the celestial bodies wasn't just about agriculture, it was also about religious practices and ceremonies. Every year at the same time, they would perform certain rituals that they would offer up to their gods. Sometimes that was terrible things like human sacrifices, animal sacrifices, and the celestial bodies helped them know when it was time to do that. This section is the top of the city, the highest point in this whole valley. You see all of these wide open plazas, and some people theorize that these were meant to be filled with water when it would rain so that people could sit up on the surrounding buildings and look down and see the reflection of the stars. And they would do this so that they could track the stars and study the constellations. Some people theorize that this is how they were able to understand the stars and construct their city based on constellations. I really don't know a lot about these people, like where they came from, what language they spoke, where they went in 600 AD when they kind of just disappeared off the archaeological map. But we do know that they cared about tracking the sun and tracking the stars, and their entire city was constructed and configured in order to be able to do that. The Borders documentaries are finally launching. Up until now, I've been making these dispatches, just little videos while I've been traveling, but all of this has been to build six documentaries. I'm gonna be publishing the first Borders documentary on October 17th, and then publishing weekly thereafter on Tuesdays. The videos are gonna be publishing on Facebook and YouTube, and if you don't wanna miss the updates on when they publish, you can sign up for the newsletter, which I'm putting the link down in the description. Really excited to share these with you. You should tune back October 17th to watch the first one.